Hello everyone, welcome to HD Piano. My name is Dion. Today we're learning how to play Cigarette by Ben Folds 5. This is part one, which sounds like this. Isn't that a beautiful melody? And this is why you're going to learn it because it's so fun to play. We're going to break it down into a few parts as always for this song. So join me at HD Piano for the rest of the song, but we're going to get stuck straight into learning this part one. Our left hand is where we're going to start because our left hand is the easy part. Left hand is playing B flats. We're in the key of B flat major for the most part. And so we're playing one B flat with our little finger or fifth finger and another B flat one octave above with our thumb. Our left hand just plays these two notes and it plays them in a very repeated order. So on beat one, we play our lowest B flat and we hold that down for the rest of the bar. And on beats two, three and four, we play our top B flat. So we would have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and so on. And this section is eight bars long, so we do this eight times. So that's a fairly easy part. Left hand is very repetitive which makes it easier to put our right hand on top of that because our right hand does have some very interesting melodic chord shapes going on. Our first section with our right hand, we're starting with our fifth finger up on D. We then reach down with our thumb to E flat, second finger on G flat, back up to D, and finish on C with our fourth finger. So again, we had D, E flat, G flat, D, C. We're then going to replace our fourth finger on C with our fifth finger. And our next series of notes is C, D, F, C, B flat. So those first two bars, we had our first shape, which had our E flat and G flat in there, finishing on C. Replace our fourth finger with our fifth finger. Play C twice. D, F, C, B flat. We're then going to replace our fourth finger again with our fifth finger. And our next shape is B flat, C sharp or D flat, depending on which way you like to think about it. E natural, back to B flat, down to A and G. So that bar again, our shape is B flat, C sharp, E, B flat, A, G. So these are our kind of three descending shapes. Our first one starting on D. Next one starting on C. Our third one starting on B flat. And then our fourth bar, our right hand is playing C sharp and G. You can jump down to your first and fifth fingers for those two notes. And then we're going to play an F with our fourth finger. And then a D and F at the same time. With your second and fourth fingers. So those four bars again with our right hand.
And our last shape, C sharp and G, down to D and F. When we put our left hand alongside that, our right hand rhythm is lining up fairly well with our left hand. Our right hand is playing a lot in eighth notes. So our bar would be counting one and two and three and four and. So our opening little riff, our counting is one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three four one and two and three and four coupled up with our left hand doing our nice steady two b flats we're trying to line up the notes with our right hand that fall on those same counts as our left hand so nice and slowly we would have those first two notes lining up and then our G flat and B flat lining up and then our C lining up with our left hand as well. And then our start of our next shape falls on our end count after our fourth hit of our left hand. Four and one and two and three four and one and two and three four one and two and three four so that last bar we hold our right hand chord shape for one and a half beats and then we play our first f in between beats two and three so on two and one and two two and three four and it comes together on beat three i'm going to keep moving on so if you need to rewind and have a look at that section again please do because we've got a bit to cover here in this first part so the second four bars of our eight bar first part if that makes sense we're going to do a really beautiful chord with our right hand it's an e flat major seven chord so our four notes there are e flat g B flat and D. It's a really nice chord, particularly when it's put on top of our B flat bass note. So our right hand starts on our E flat major seven chord. Our little finger is going to reach up to an E flat note. So we have on the same sort of rhythm we've been doing before. So this first chord is held down for one and a half beats and then our top little rhythm comes in on beats two and and three. One and two and three. On beat four, we're going to do a little cluster of notes, an E flat, an F and a G all at the same time. So that, that one bar, we have our chord one and two and three and then our cluster on beat four once more one and two and three and four and we then move to the top two notes of our cluster so f and g and that opens up to f and a and our rhythm for this bar is on the count one two three, four. Our next bar, we move down one semitone from our lowest note and we keep the top notes the same. So we have E and G to E and A. And we're going to finish on beat four with an E and a B flat. So those first, well, those two bars there we just did was F and G to F and A then E and G, E and A, E and B flat. And we're going to go down another semitone to E flat and G, E flat and A, and finish with a B flat. So from the start of that four bar section with our nice big E flat major seven chord, we have one and two and three and four and one and two and three 
and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now we've got to link that in with our left hand. The trickiest timing is in that first bar of that section. So we have one and two and three, four is our first bar with both of those hands. Again, our right hand chord plays for one and a half beats. And then our E flat at the top comes in on beat two and. One and two and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So those last three bars really line up with the left hand in terms of timing. It's much simpler than the rest of that intro so far. Speaking of the whole intro, let's have a play of the whole thing nice and slowly. So we're going to count through at about this speed. One, two, three, and four, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, four. One, and two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, so you've done fantastically well. Now, a bit of trivia about this song. The lyrics are taken, or as Ben Folds says, from a newspaper article, and he says that the entire lyric was taken word for word as the first paragraph of a news article that was all just one sentence long. There was no full stops. It's quite a sentence. It's worth looking up the lyrics to this song to have a look at that sentence. So in the comments below, I would like you to come up with your best long one sentence paragraph. It can be serious, it can be nonsense, but I want to see what your creative brains will do in just one sentence. Okay, let's do this through one more time, around about the tempo of the song. One, two, three, four. So very well done if you've gotten through that part. As I said, we're going to do the rest of the song over at HD Piano, so join me there. My name is Dion. While you're browsing the net, make sure that you head to our requests site, requests.hdpiano.com. That's where you can let us know what you would like us to play. And also follow us on all social media at HD Piano, and you can let us know all your fantastic comments, how much you love us, and I'll see you for the next video here at the home of the hybrid piano lesson.